of aquatic plants, often called a water reed. It's in the family of Hydrocheritopia and Kingdom of Plantae. It is grown in a variety of different pond habitats. It has dark green leaves and dense whorls of two or three that become more crowded toward the top. It is illegal to sell in the states of Alabama, New Hampshire, South Carolina, and Washington. It is one of the few pond plants that can stay green all winter long. It, re it reproduces primarily through stem fragments. It can be used for science experiments by demonstrating how plants use carbon dioxide. Elodia is rich in nutrients that favor the, the growth of American water weeds and is confused with similar looking plants like Brazilian, Elodia, and Hydrilla. In fall, the leafy stalks will detach from the parent plant, float away, root, and start new plants. You can see parts of Elodia leaf cells in water. Excellent cover for aquatic insects and fish serves as a source of food for various wildlife, provides underwater habitats during winter season. Neutral modest amounts of elodia are usually considered beneficial for the ecosystem. Negative excessive growth <coughs> can interfere with some uses of the pond fishing and boating, reduce dissolved oxygen levels during the summer and crawfish. Uh, so that's a picture of too much elodia and that's a um, good amount of elodia and the fish are using it as a habitat. Uh, the six types of elodia. First, elodia bifoliata. It's in Canada and Western USA. Um, elodia calitrichoides. It's in Argentina and Uruguay. Elodia canadensis is in Canada and U.S. Um, Elodia granatensis is in South America. Elodia nutali is in Canada and U.S. And then Elodia potamogeton is in Chile, Peru, Bolivia, and Ecuador. And these are four out of the six. to our project. Elodia is the plant in the water that is keeping our snails alive. This plant uses photosynthesis to create sugar and energy for itself. In this process, Elodia also creates oxy oxygen for the snail. Therefore, if this plant was not in the cube, the snail would quickly die from lack of oxygen. because of their waxy coatings. Um, this is a picture of the Elodia leaf cell. So there's a cytoplasm, cell wall, and chloroplast. They grow in a variety of pond habitats, but prefer to grow in fine sediments of the bottom of cod, cool spring-fed ponds. Elodia has small teeth in the mydrillo that help distinguish them from other plants. 